Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. In this video, we're going to be doing 2020 AMC 12B problem number 25. The problem reads, for each real number A with 0 is less than or equal to A is less than or equal to 1, let numbers X and Y be chosen independently at random from the intervals 0 to A and 0 to 1 respectively, and let p of a be the probability that sine squared of pi x plus sine squared of pi y is greater than 1. What is the maximum value of p of a? So the first thing I'm going to do is define new variables w and z such that w is equal to pi x and z is equal to pi y because I don't like dealing with pi's in the trigonometric functions because they're already so hard to think about. This just becomes sine squared of w plus sine squared of z is greater than 1. And the bounds for w and z would be 0 to pi because we're expanding w and z to this interval. So now what we can do is draw a square representing the values of w and z. So we have the w axis horizontally and the z axis vertically. And for whatever region that works for w and z, for the case 0 is less than or equal to a is less than or equal to 1, it basically means we want to find the vertical line such that the area that works to the left of it divided by the total area is the greatest. Now since we've shifted to w and z, which is from 0 to pi, we want to make a from 0 to pi. And that works with our square because the values on the w axis and on the z axis go from 0 to pi. So now let's try to find the region that works. The boundary of the region would just be when sine squared w plus sine squared of z is equal to 1. And to solve for this region, we want to find z in terms of w. So we can move w to the other side to get sine squared z equals 1 minus sine squared w. And we can use our trigonometric identity that sine squared w plus cosine squared w is equal to 1 to find that sine squared z is equal to cosine squared w. Now since z and w are from 0 to pi, sine of z will always be positive. But cosine of w will be positive from 0 to pi over 2 and negative from pi over 2 to pi. So we can split this into two cases one where w is less than or equal to pi over 2, and one where w is greater. So let's check the w is less than or equal to case. So to solve for this, we can just take the square root and get sine of z is equal to cosine of w. And if we draw the unit circle on z and w, if we fix what w is, let's say w is this angle over here, the cosine of that angle would be this. So we want sine of z to be the same as cosine of w. Now that happens in two cases. z is here or z is here. And the cases where sine squared w plus sine squared z is greater than 1 is just the parts in the middle between these two values of z. The lower bound of z is pi over 2 minus w and the upper bound would just be pi over 2 plus w. So looking back at our diagram, at pi over 2, we can draw two lines, one with negative slope and one with positive slope. And the values in this triangular region will all satisfy the inequality. Now let's move on to w is greater than pi over 2. In this case, sine of z would be equal to negative cosine of w because cosine of w is negative in this region. So again, we draw the unit circle and we pick a point w. Cosine of w would just be negative of the bottom leg of this triangle, which means that negative cosine w is just the length of that triangle. That means that when sine z equals negative cosine w, z would be these two values. And for the inequality to hold, the values of z must be in between these two values. So the lower bound is z equals w minus pi over 2, because it's always 90 degrees lagging behind, and the upper bound would be 3 pi over 2 minus w. 
And you can easily verify this by doing some trig or just by looking at the unit circle. So we have these bounds for z when w is greater than pi over 2. So for these values, we just get this graph right here. So the region that satisfies the inequality would just be this diamond-shaped region connecting the midpoints of the square. Now we want to find the dividing line A such that the proportion of the area inside this region and to the left of this line over the region to the left is the greatest. The area of the region to the left would just be A times pi because A is the width and pi is the height. The area to the left of the diamond-shaped region is a bit harder to calculate, but it can be easily done when instead of finding the area to the left, we can take the entire area and subtract the area to the right. The area of that diamond is just one half the area of the entire square or pi squared over two. And the area to the left, that is a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a height of pi minus a. And just by doing a little bit of geometry, we can verify that this is pi minus a squared. So we basically want to maximize pi squared over 2 minus pi squared plus 2 pi a minus a squared. And we got that by expanding the binomial formula over a pi. So this is equal to negative pi over 2a plus 2 minus a over pi. Or this is equal to 2 minus a over pi plus pi over 2a. Now it may look like we're going to need some calculus to solve this problem, but we can actually use AMGM on the last two terms. So this is less than or equal to 2 minus 2 times the square root of the two parts of the sum, which is a over pi times pi over 2a. Now conveniently, the pi's and the a's cancel out. So we just get that this is less than or equal to 2 minus root 2. And this is the answer that we're looking for. Looking back at the answer choices, we see that 2 minus root 2 is indeed an answer. So we circle B and we're done with problem number 25.